we're the King family. Uh, I'm Jesse, this is my wife Brittany, and then we've got Sophie, Harvey, and Kylie. I'm Chris, this is Danielle, and this little guy is Elijah, and we are the Schubers. We're the Smiths, this is, uh, this is Lincoln, this is Kayla, and I'm Harold. We are the Verace. Uh, I'm Angelo, this is my wife Ashley, and our 11 month old son Andre Dominic. I'm Caleb, this is Riley, my wife Ashley, and our son Jackson. My name is Jasmine, and this is my son Tristan. We're the Nagels. I'm Sean, this is Luciana, Benjamin, and Jonathan. We are the Blockers. I'm Andrew, Christy, Rayleigh, Emery, and Aaliyah. This is our little guy, Carter Piontek. He's two. Uh, this is my wife, Katrina Piontek, and I am Thomas Piontek. I'm Jonathan. This is my wife, Abigail, son, Aston, Juniper, and Autumn. I love South Point uh, because you can just be real here uh, and do real life with people uh, no matter where you are. I personally like that South Point keeps it real and I guess makes you feel wanted here. Very welcoming and the messages apply to everyday life. One thing that I really enjoy about South Point is every time I come here I never feel out of place, I never feel like I'm being judged. I, it just feels so warm and so welcoming. We're deciding to have our kids dedicated because um, we've been with South Point for a while and before we had kids uh, we decided to help out with children's ministry and um, once God blessed us with kids, which it wasn't a, a, an adventure or challenge to, to have kids, um, we wanted to give them back to God and um, it's just very important to set our kids up well in life and to, um, for, them, for them to have others praying for them and a community around them. We're deciding to have Andre dedicated um, because he is God's gift to us. Uh, he, um, and we want to surround him with people that will help him grow uh, in a relationship with God. And uh, also as parents to keep us accountable as we uh, raise him in the faith. I feel like it's one of the most important things you can do as a parent to introduce your child to Jesus. And uh, I think that even for them, as, as long as you can instill these values and into them at a young age, like they, they're still going to decide on their own later, but hopefully... We did our job as parents. Yeah. Um, I'm choosing to have Tristan dedicate it because it states in the Bible, Mark 13, that um, you should... It's an act of obedience to bring your children onto the Lord. We want to have Lincoln dedicated uh, to show him uh, and everyone else how important it is to us uh, that he grow to know Jesus and grow in his faith. So we've decided to dedicate Emery as our next step in our commitment to God's faithfulness and love to our family. In 2021, Emery was diagnosed with juvenile arthritis. Um, it came as a big shock to our family, but we realized the only way to get through this was to put it into God's hands. Emery, we're reminded every day that God made Emery to be a little warrior. Her spunky spirit and her strong will combats the pain of this disease every single day. So as we dedicate her, we just really feel it's important to keep reminding her and our other girls that all things are possible through God, that He loves her, that He made her, and that He will always be for her. One of the reasons why we chose to have our son dedicated is the Lord is important to both of us and we are already raising Carter to uh, follow God and we just want to announce it and uh, uh, just be more thoughtful about uh, doing that. I really hope that Elijah grows up um, having an intimate relationship with God and knowing that he's known and loved and that he um, just follows in the path that God sets for him and leaves the world better than he found it. One thing I hope God does to their hearts is obviously it's a personal decision and as they grow um, and we raise them and they come to church that that God, that Jesus would touch their heart uh, and that they would want to make the decision to, to follow him with their Peanuts. lives. I hope that he shows them how to be good people 
and to love others the way that Jesus has loved us.